Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for April 24th, 2019. So ring the bell, let's have some parties. Um, let's get all excited here because the NASDAQ makes new record highs, just smashes through those resistance levels uh, like it wasn't even there, just smashes right through maintaining this trend and looking really, really good. So from last December, I'm going to just measure this off from last December's low to uh, current highs. If you look over there to the left, that little box over there to the left, you can see that that this rally has made a 32.62% gain since uh, that December low. An amazing rally in the queues to reach out and break those new highs. So well done, NASDAQ. Now let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, even though the SP500 Whoops, here, let me just do this. Even though the S&P 500 actually showed a breakout new record high in the S&P 500 um, closing high, the SPY did not quite do that yesterday. The SPY um, didn't quite make that new closing high print. You can see we had a closing high print here of, of uh, 293.94 and you can see we're just short of that right here, um, 293.14. So we came really, really close, but didn't quite make it there on the SPY. Um, any little push up through here, we could set new record highs on the SPY, <clears throat> excuse me, on the SPY. We could also um, set new record highs on the diamonds here soon. Diamonds had a really nice day yesterday, pushing up toward these levels uh, for highs. We have a little bit further to go before we actually get that record high close. Notice that we would have to, our high here of 268. 02 we would need to print above there and we are right here at 266.80 well 266.48 is where we closed high yesterday 266.86 so we're within striking distance distance of that new record high close now this morning we're already getting those earnings rolling out we've had a couple earnings there just recently i mean just before i started this recording we got earnings from a boeing Boeing reported in line, but you can see the market reacting just slightly lower to that Boeing earnings report coming in in line. And then Caterpillar reported a beat on earnings just a few minute moments ago, and Caterpillar is indicating slightly higher, at least at the market. Dow futures that were up about 25, 30 points are now only up about four points. Um, the um, ES futures, which is the S&P 500, they are slightly lower, um, 25 cents lower right at the moment. And NASDAQ futures are a dollar and a quarter higher. So kind of a muted day. And it's interesting to note that um, Asian markets had a muted day. They, they really didn't do much, even though the Australian market uh, touched a 10-year high. Asian markets kind of struggled. Um, closed the day mixed with uh, mostly lower um, um, overnight. And European markets are also kind of subdued this morning, really not getting a lot of uh, price action love, I guess, this morning, just kind of wandering around. So after a record-breaking day, I guess the U.S. markets are just kind of in a wait-and-see uh, taking a wait and see attitude, trying to decide if there's going to be enough inspiration in these earnings this morning to move us higher. And we're getting a lot of price action movement in those Dow futures um, at the moment, which already are up uh, 11 points. 
So technically speaking, we have to reach out to try and catch these new record highs in the Dow. I, 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 was, I would be really surprised if we don't do it. Um, it may not happen today, but I would be really surprised if we don't find some way to get that inspiration to move up there and tag those highs. We just need... Um, a couple of good earnings reports and perhaps that could happen this afternoon maybe microsoft after the bell today reports um microsoft could be the one that reaches right on out there and helps stretch that market up there and apple even though it's not reporting earnings is also showing really good signs here stretching really well possibly and just a couple good companies like that uh could move that dow up there to test that uh, that all-time high in the Dow. Let's take a look at that SPY real quick. SPY, um, trying to reach up there to that new record high. I can't imagine it won't make it there um, at this point. Now, the questions will be on these is once we make it, up there can we hold those levels of support remember breaking through is one th whoops breaking through is one thing reaching out and testing or touching or holding those new highs is another we need to make sure that once we reach up there we can um, hold those levels and and stay above that area and we need to see those buyers coming in so it's it's not out of the question that if we reach up there that we could see a little bit of rest a little bit of consolidation even a pullback to come back and test these trends but we want to hold up above those um, levels if we were to pop through and fail come right back down that really adds to this resistance here and adds question to the overall market so we'll have to wait and see but um, a, a long-term consolidation meaning several days of just choppy consolidation would not be out of the question once we break up in there just kind of relaxing taking a breath as earnings continue to roll in and we start um, seeing what the predominance of those earnings are going to tell us let's take a look at uh, the vix here real quick now the vix yesterday moving lower once again the vix not showing any fear at all in this market and as a matter of fact i i, I keep mentioning this i think the vix might be showing just a little bit of complacency um, with this idea that the markets just can't go down and when that happens that's when we get these big fear spikes that can come into the market when we kind of feel like there's just no way that the market could go down that's when it can really go down so we'll want to watch that closely now hopefully earnings continue to fuel us higher hold those bulls positive and keep things going but let's watch this very carefully down in here i am certainly not suggesting that the market is going to fall just that we're down here in very low areas um, in the VIX uh, very little fear so it wouldn't be at all surprising to see if we if we get some kind of funkiness in any of uh, the earnings reports to maybe just start seeing that fear coming in just a little bit and a little bit of profit taking um, happening in the markets that's all that might mean but right now nothing showing in fear right now and we could certainly continue to move lower here in the VIX so uh, just something to keep an eye on let's take a look at t21 22 that four week new high new low ratio you can see yesterday boy we really powered higher we moved from that 50 percent area in here i said yesterday in in the note we had plenty of room to move up and plenty of room to move down well yesterday the earnings inspired us higher and we moved sharply um, up here on the t21 22 indicator now, T2122 also suggests that we have more upside room. We can still go up in here. We have upside room to go um, in that trade, but we've also opened a very big door or a potential move down. So we'll have to watch this close as we continue to push toward these higher um, higher prints up here. We'll have to watch that pretty darn closely, uh, watching for any clues of failure in the market. Not suggesting that we are going to fail, just that we're reaching up there in that reversal zone. We're a little bit of rest, a little bit of pullback. 
wouldn't be out of the question. But I do expect those breakouts to occur, uh, those new records to occur sometime um, in the very near future. So I still think there's upside potential here in the market. Let's take a look. Oops. Can't make my fingers work this morning. Let's take a look at the economic calendar. Economic calendar doesn't have much going on it today. Um, we have the EIA petroleum status report. Obviously, that can move around those oil prices significantly. They have been up sharply. If we continue to see those uh, U.S. supplies diminishing, um, that can certainly continue to inspire uh, those oil prices higher. So we'll have to watch, wait, and see what that can do here. But the the market is predominantly going to be focusing on all of these earnings reports today. Um, over 200 companies reporting today, and they're coming in pretty darn quickly right now. We also have um, AT&T reporting um, this morning. It looks like they may have already reported. It looks like AT&T is slipping south here just a little bit. And then this afternoon, th these are all Dow stocks, uh, Visa is reporting. And so we'll have to kind of keep an eye on that. Uh, this is an afternoon report. So lots and lots of earnings reports coming in that could greatly affect the market. We'll have to take a look at that. A couple of big earnings reports that you may want to take note of, CMG. CMG is reporting um, today. So you'll want to keep an eye on CMG, a um, couple of those big spotlight type companies. And then Tesla is also reporting today. And I can't imagine anything uh, positive coming out of a Tesla result right now, but we'll wait and see. Um, uh, Tesla is one of those amazing companies. They can report the most dismal results that you can imagine, and the company still rallies. Um, uh, the believers in Tesla, uh, doesn't really matter what this company does. They want to uh, push it higher sometimes. So we'll have to wait and see. I can't imagine they're going to come out with really good earnings today um, based on some of the news and things that's been going on and the changes that they have been making in the company. So we'll kind of keep an eye on that as the day goes on. Um, let's take a look. Um, well, actually, before we do that, before I uh, look at some of the stocks that I'm kind of keeping an eye on and watching, let's take a look, um, or uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone who supports this channel, who's been watching this channel, and um, using those thumbs up buttons and clicking uh, clicking through, leaving comments. I, I truly appreciate that, guys. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, then do me a favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube, and click that bell icon on when that uh, pop-up comes up so that you make sure and get notified when these videos are um, released and for those of you who continue to support this channel guys I, I truly appreciate it I'm truly humbled by all of the kind comments and and all that you're doing to help um, in this effort of, of reaching out to these folks and helping people do a little bit better job with their morning preparation uh, for the market so thank you to everyone who does that you guys are the best I truly truly appreciate it also feel free to share this video with any friends and family you know, share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, wherever you might share those social media things. Please feel free to do that. So let's take a look at a few charts that I think are really looking good that are setting up. Uh, could potentially be great trades um, anytime now. Take a look at Tiffany's. Tiffany's has gotten past, um, and still has, excuse me, not gotten past, it still has an earnings report that uh, coming next month. But take a look at this nice, beautiful consolidation and buyers coming in here on Tiffany's. We might want to watch that closely. Looks like Tiffany's could move higher here. That's a beautiful consolidation breakout. And if we get some follow through to the upside on that, we might want to keep an eye on Tiffany's. Might also want to be taking a look at NVIDIA. Now, NVIDIA moved up very, very sharply here recently, testing a resistance level. And if I pull this back, you can see this is actually a fairly significant level of resistance in here. We've tested that area up there. And notice that we're trying to come back up 
um, off of the support area. Now I've placed this trend line in here. Please keep in mind this trend line could shift around in here because we know we could come up here, hit this resistance and then continue to consolidate. So we don't necessarily have to break right through right now, but I placed that line there just because we show buyers stepping in right here. And that could be the um, indication of the new trend. And we'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, notice that um, we could certainly just wait for that to break out and then try to trade it here. But watch that chart. NVIDIA is starting to show some pretty good signs and, and looking pretty good. You also want to take a look at Oracle. I think Oracle is a great looking chart. Now, you may not want to chase this here in this move. The, the trade in Oracle was a couple of days ago. You can see right in here, the pulled back, buyer stepping in, following through to the upside. Oracle's looking very good. And if we take a look at this morning, Oracle is looking at a, um, a positive open here, maybe up toward the high of yesterday, trying to push on through. So you might want to keep an eye on Oracle. It's looking really, really good here and maybe trying to stretch out for some um, new record highs if we go back to a weekly chart pull us all the way back notice that this is that breakout um, uh, of here in, in 1999 Oracle has now reached those new highs and making this significant breakout here we could maybe expect a run higher um, on those charts so keep an eye on Oracle. Really nice looking chart um, in my opinion um, and one to, to pay attention to. Also take a look at um, some charts like um, Adobe. Adobe really strong move here breaking through resistance really strong move yesterday Adobe looking good we're coming up here testing these highs um, actually yesterday trying to break through new record high prints on Adobe but any rest or pullback now in this chart could definitely set up um, a trade and if I mark a trend on here you can see where our trend is so we have a pretty good idea if this were to just rest consolidate pull back anywhere into here we would have an opportunity for a trade and that's very very similar to just what occurred here right we move up move over to the trend move up move over toward the trend either going sideways in a consolidation or a pullback that's a very very common pattern it's it's the most common pattern that you're going to find in the market just that that simple move up pull back to the trend move up slide over to the trend those are very reliable patterns that we can trade over and over and over again so keep an eye on those charts those are looking pretty darn good um, overall so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits remember always be checking those earnings reports when does the company report when does the company report because i can tell you yesterday i saw visa here there's that beautiful trend that beautiful pattern we slid over toward the trend buyer stepped in the only reason i'm not in that trade is because i recognize the earnings report um, was about to occur the um, uh, visa reports this afternoon so um always be paying attention to when those companies report and um be careful on how you trade around those earnings events. Right now, as I close this video down, Dow futures up 22 points. ES futures are basically flat and slightly lower, and NASDAQ futures are slightly lower, down two points um, at the moment. So we're getting some mixed results in the futures this morning. Could make for a challenging morning here, which uh, everyone kind of expecting um, a big move today. And we might not get that. We might get that subdued um, attitude like we've seen in, in Asian markets overnight and European markets this morning. So we'll have to watch that close. Everyone take care of yourself. Have an awesome, awesome day. I wish you great profits and we'll talk to you all bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one.